Before starting the welding procedure, it is absolutely necessary to substitute the brass transport screw of the hydraulic oil tank by the air ventilation plug. Before operating the machine, bring the basic frame in an appropriate position. Use a screwdriver to remove the reduction inserts and in case click in the reduction inserts as shown here. In any case it's possible to fix the reduction inserts by using the screws which are delivered with the machines in the tool bag. Here you can see how much the new version of reducing inserts are easing the work. During clamping of the pipes, take the utmost care that the pipes are not under tension and leveled properly. The distance between the clamps and the frame should be all over the same. Start fixing the pipe always with the outer clamps of the machine. By using the inner clamp spanning screws, it's possible to adjust the disalignment of the pipe ends to be welded. Now insert the facing tool between the pipe ends. The micro safety switch of the facing tool ensures that the facing tool is not running unless it is placed in between the pipes to be welded. To lengthen the lifetime of the facing tool, don't work with more than 10 to 15 bar above the moving pressure of the machine. Proceed as follows. The hydraulic pump must work by means of putting the pump lever in closing position. Set up the pressure for the facing procedure by using the round hand wheel. Then you can vary the pressure by using the bypass lever. During the facing procedure, a shaving of a length twice around the pipe should appear constantly. Now control the alignment of the pipe ends again. With the inner clamps of the machine you can adjust the alignment finally.
control the heater blade's temperature in the welding area with a suitable thermostat with surface sensor. The heater blade must be free of damages in the welding zone. Use a non-fuzzy and non-colored paper to clean the surface of the heater blade. In case there is dust or dirt in the welding zone or on the heater blade, use a cleaning agent with over 98% alcohol. Determine the drag pressure of the machine with the pipe to be welded inside before each welding. Proceed as follows. Adjust a certain pressure value by using the hand wheel, for example 20 bar. Now open the bypass valve and close it slowly while watching the movable trolley of the basic machine. As soon as the trolley is moving slowly, the so-called drag or moving pressure is reached. Note the drag pressure into the protocol form. You can find the required welding pressure in the specific welding table of the machine. Note the value from the welding table into the protocol form and add it to the drag pressure. Note the final value on the protocol form. This will be your welding pressure. Set up this value to the hydraulic unit by using the hand wheel. The hydraulic pump must work by means of putting the pump lever in closing position. The bypass must be closed. Now open the machine. Put in the heater plate and build up the before set pressure by means of putting the pump lever in closing position again. Now put the disconnecting device over the heater plate. Pay attention for an accurate bead formation. Unequal bead formation is essentially for the welding result. The bead size you can gather from the welding table. After reaching a good bead performance, reduce the pressure to near zero bar. Therefore open the bypass valve and close again after reaching the desired value. After approaching the end of the heating time, the heater blade has to be removed as fast as possible. The disconnecting device is very helpful in that phase. Bring the pipe ends together as fast as possible, but approach with a pressure of near zero bar. Therefore open the bypass valve short before the pipe ends approach each other and build up the pressure linearly by closing the bypass valve slowly. The pump lever is in the closing position. The pressure build up time, the so called ramp, is mentioned in the welding table as well. Hold the pressure as shown in the welding table. This is the actual welding process. Set up the cooling time with a timer. After the pump lever was in the closing position for some seconds, it can be switched in the neutral position. Observe the pressure gauge during the cooling time. 
After the joining a regular double bead must appear. The bead size shows the regularity of the weldings. Raised mechanical loads during or directly after the declamping are allowed only after elongated cooling. Fill in the protocol all relevant and requested data after the welding and during the welding as far as possible. You show your responsibility with your signature. After each welding, write on the pipe with a white or silver marker the number of the welding, the welder name, and the date. It's not only following the rules, it's quality insurance.